Another day goes by without word from William. It's been but a few weeks' time since I arrived on the island, yet it feels like an eternity. This time apart has me wondering if our bond was but an illusion. Is that what you think, Joey? That our relationship was some sleight-of-hand magic trick you made to fill up some hole in your life? Look, I didn't say that, Dawson. Don't put words into my mouth. I don't have to. Dawson, don't you ever wonder, you know, where this is going, where we are exactly? I mean, is this just the first act, or has our story ended and we're just too stupid to realize it? But why do we have to figure all that out right now? I mean, what's wrong with just living the present for once? Because the present sucks, Dawson. I mean, excuse me for thinking back and looking forward, but I'm just trying to make sense of what's happened to us. Joe, you yourself once told me that some love stories never end. What happened to that girl? She offered herself to the boy she loved. The boy she thought loved her back. And he rejected her. Joy, listen to me. If we are truly meant to be, then we will find our way back to each other. It's as simple as that. You so sure about that, Dawson? I fill my days with memories of him. I remember how he used to look at me, as if I was his most valuable treasure. Has he found a new treasure? I can't help but wonder if we will be able to find our way back to each other. The road before us seems so very long, and my head is clouded with such dark thoughts. I feel our bond grows weaker by the day, and I'm powerless to stop. That's probably them. Hey, you rang? Oh, you guys rang. We didn't rang. Well, somebody rang. Well, this is mighty peculiar, people. What? There's no bell. What? Okay. I'm now sufficiently late. How goes the 17th century so She just got a letter from William. To tell. November 10th, 1693. That's today. That's also the anniversary of the fire. Yeah. A letter today from my beloved William. He has made me so happy. He says he's coming tonight to take me away from this godforsaken prison. Yet I am scared. He says there are those in town who feel we should be punished further for our crimes. It's the last century. So, you think he came back for? No. He probably played her for a fool and uh, took up with some well-bred hussy from the mainland. Come on, Joey. Hop on the happy train. Sounds to me like those two were madly in love. You know, I hate to be one of those girls who mistakes pop lyrics for profound thought, but sometimes love just ain't enough. And I hate to be the one to burst this whole subtextual bubble that you're living in, but do me a favor, Joey. Don't let somebody else's love life dictate your own.